morning, it's Warthog Princess. I'm here with the Vera Bradley Hall. I am in Milwaukee and I got to go to my store, the ladies that are always taking my phone orders. It was really great to see them in person and I'm super excited to share with you what I got. It's a small haul, but you know, it's good. It's always good. One item is a haul, right? Yeah. Um, okay, so let me set this back down. This first item is Reactive. It is the Reactive Cosmetic Set in Itsy Ditsy Floral. It, it's not my favorite pattern. I like it, I do. Um, I'm all about the dark backgrounds with bright, pretty, happy colors. This one isn't so bright. It is vivid, but um, you know, I like it. And I like the teal interior. It's like this aqua dark, you know, blue green color. But the reason I got this particular item, I don't have any bags in this, but I do have the two cosmetic things. The one that looks like the trolley from Lug and the one that is like the grand um, tra hanging travel organizer kind of thing, but it's, it's reactive. So I have those two pieces and I thought, well, these two would make it a perfect set for like travel with all the reactive pieces to match. So that's what I was thinking. And uh, I know I have a ton of travel stuff, so that just makes my decisions that much harder. But but this is a two-piece set. It is um, half and half with the clear and the reactive on the bottom with the rubber Vera Bradley label. It does have the chunky zippers, which makes sense and is absolutely fine with this. I mean, it is a cosmetic. It's completely plastic lined as well. So that is nice. And it's a good size if you look at the base of that. And it's the, you know, cubular shape with the rectangle. So very very versatile it fits a lot of stuff in here and i like that you can actually see partly in there kind of like that bbu cosmetic as well um i haven't used them a lot but there you go and then the second piece the smaller one is reactive all around there's no no plastic on it like that i mean it's made from plastic but and then inside well, we just have some paper Put that in the garbage and then the inside is plastic lined just like the larger one so there you go. This one is obviously smaller. This one is roughly a medium cosmetic size, um, but it's just a straight pouch. There's no extra pockets on it. So that is cool. So I'm gonna set that over here. And then the next item I got, I got the journal with pen. This is in Hummingbird Ditsy. I could not remember if I got this already but it's a low cost item and it's something that I use. It's a consumable, so it will it will go to good use. Um, I like that it has the, you know, you have the little hummingbird right there. Not a lot of hummingbirds, but it is a pretty pink floral thing. It has the elastic on the front. It's lined pages and it comes with a little silver pen that stores in the binding. You can put other pens here, but you know, it's, it's kind of small pen stuff, so. Most of the regular pens won't fit in there, but got that. And I always have a, a notebook in my purses. And then I got the pop sockets. Now, I have to say, if you, if you didn't realize, I'm not really a pop socket person because I like my phone to have that slick back so I can just slide it into things, put it in your pocket without catching on things. Um, I'm just a simple simpleton like that. Um, but I also have a bunch of pretty Vera Bradley iPhone cases so I don't want to put something on top of that because then it obscures the whole point of the pretty case but anyways all of that being said I decided to take a leap into the pop socket world um, I would say one tiny leap but it's a pop socket wallet so it's the one with the, like a card thing and a pop socket on it so if I'm going on a cruise I thought this might be a great option because then I just have my phone, I have the handle on it, and I could put my CPAS card in here, and now I don't have to carry anything else, you know, not even a zip ID or anything if I don't want to. So, we shall see, but that is the plan with that. And then the next item I got is a ditty bag. It's just a regular ditty. It is the retail side ditty. This is in Ecat Island. So it's the pretty blues. Um, yeah, and it has the crunchy plastic still, so we're, it's okay, it's durable. And the plastic is not tethered on the bottom, so you can turn it totally inside out. So 
definitely not my favorite style. I prefer the older ones that were actually sewn in all the way around. Um, you know, maybe that's not as waterproof. I don't know, like because the seams with the holes, I don't know, but I still prefer it. It just seems more finished and I don't know. I, uh, but I also prefer the ones with the double pulls. This one is just the regular like knapsack style with the tethered pull. So, you know, you just pull it tight like that. And you can, if you're, if you're small enough, wear this, actually wear it as a little knapsack, which is kind of cute, but I mean, I could put it on, but then I have trouble getting it off. Because I just, I'm too broad in the shoulders and too big overall, let's be honest. But, but anyway, so that's just a ditty bag. These are great because you can do them for so many things. You know, it's a wet dry bag, essentially. I mean, it doesn't zip and seal, but they're great. And I just fold up the bottom, the bucket bottom, and then I fold it again in thirds. And that's how I store them. They just store flat. So really easy for getting it home in this case. And then, all right, two more items. So this item, I actually had only had a glimpse that this existed and I thought it was only as like one of the birthday gifts. But what it is, it's a lens cloth and happy blooms. Sorry, I didn't mean to get that close. <laughs> but it comes in its own little plastic pouch that has like an envelope style opening. And let's open this up because it's pretty. Um, and you know, it's just a lens cloth for your iPhone, your iPad, for your sunglasses, your glasses, your readers, you know, whatever little glass thing you want. So it says Vera Bradley on the back. And that is, it's a very pale pink color. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that with the lighting. And then the other side, it's just the happy blooms. Happy blooms. And then if you're like me and you're anal retentive and you gotta fold it back up on the seams or, or the creases, there it is, it's all set. Um, so I'm gonna just fold this back up into thirds and see if I can make it fit properly back in the envelope. Not that it needs to. I mean, you can just shove it in your pocket, whatever. Um, and I didn't fold it perfectly, but it will fit in here just fine, I think. Da -da -da -da. I'll, I'll refold that to get it flatter because <laughs> I'm, I gotta get it home. But anyway, it's in there. So it actually wasn't hard to fold like that. And I know everybody has been going really crazy for this hummingbird pattern, um, hummingbird park. I know it was supposed to come out last year and I like it, I do. I think it's pretty and I love purple. And so the purples and pinks and grays, I don't know. I think they've kind of stuck with that a little longer than I would have expected, but you know, it's working. And I, you know, my mom's maiden name was Hummer. So my grandmother had hummingbird everything so hummingbirds will always be a part of my heart um, but I'm not really into the pattern as far as buying a bunch of bags in it admittedly that is nothing against this pattern it's just that I have a lot of stuff so I'm trying to be more selective and you know anyway but it is a pretty pattern and I did want a piece of it so I got a pair of pajama shorts and these are the extra large ones so they, they are way um, very big I mean they're big on me even even at that but they are also very forgiving they're you know that stretchy jersey this is my favorite of the Vera Bradley materials for apparel because it does give you a little bit more sizability to each of the items and it's just super comfortable it's very airy and you know in Arizona shorts you know for pajamas is a must during the summer so there you go but I like these a lot because I like that they have the drawstring on there, even though they have an elastic waist, which is great. Um, but they have that drawstring. So again, that gives you some adaptability for the sizing um, and body shape and stuff. And then it also has pockets, which is huge because I'm always like, if I wanna get up in the morning and not get dressed right away or something and just walk around in my shorts and my t-shirt and put my phone in my pocket, yay. Or, you know, maybe I'm just gonna take out the garbage or walk the dog around the block and put my key in my pocket or, you know, I don't know. I think you could totally wear these as daytime shorts. There's no reason not to. They're not see-through. They're, I mean, a full-up jersey material. So anyways, super cute. Look at the pattern. I do like the colors. And there's lots of hummingbirds in the pattern, but they're kind of hidden. Wait, are there even hummingbirds on here? Hmm. I don't even see any. Oh, there's one. There's one. Right there. Pretty bird. They're like, you know, they're just blended with the colors of the pattern, so they're harder to see. There's another one right there on the back. But 
but it is pretty. So there you go. That's the shorts and that's the end of this haul. I hope you're doing great. Happy Monday and I will be back home tomorrow. Take care. Bye for now.